What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Need for Speed Underground 2 and I'm currently driving to the airport because there's a couple of URL races there that I want to do and uh, you know continue the game pretty much but that's what's happening in today's video. So welcome back. It's been a little bit. It's actually been a good few days since I've uh, ended up recording a video on this game and I kind of miss it to be honest with you so it's gonna be weird once the Let's Play is actually finished. And, uh, oh, don't to do that. Uh, once the Let's Play is actually finished, and, you know, I just, I don't play this game anymore. It's gonna be kind of weird. I, I'll, I'll tell you now. It's, it's gonna be kind of strange. But I do miss this game. Even the few days that I didn't end up playing it, I, I kind of miss it. I just want to play it some more. Because it's just way too much fun to play. Um, so that's what's happening. You're real racers. Gotta progress through the game a little bit more. Um, I need to see what these actually give out. Because if this finishes the game somehow... I mean, I still have a couple of races more to do, but I also do still need, like I said, to modify and, you know, change and do the uh, the Navigator build. I still have the Lincoln Navigator that I ended up buying, and I never ended up building it on on a video. So, uh, the only thing I've done to it is I gave it more... You know what you have to do, girl. I don't want to see any piece of that car across the finish line. I won't have to do anything more than drive. He's nothing but a showboat and loser. Don't underestimate him. Do whatever, and I mean whatever it takes to tear him apart. Don't let me down. I'm counting on you, Nikki. I forgot about Nikki. I completely forgot about Nikki. Honestly. Okay, so we have an extra person we have to race against. What's she driving, by the way? I, I don't even know what car she's she's actually in. She in a Lexus? 86? Anything? She's definitely not in the top five. She, she's in last place. So she's not doing a very good job already. I mean, we only just started. I'm getting pushed, so I need to, like, leave. There you go. And then, okay, Nikki's in fourth. I think she's driving one of the 240s. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um... That's good. That just means that the game isn't gonna finish. I thought, like, I, as soon as I saw the cutscene, I was like, no, please. I really do hope that the, this isn't, like, the last race, but that that just means that there's more stuff, you know? There's more things that I get to do. Um, so, I'm gonna guess it's not this next URL race that I'm doing. That's gonna be the final one. I'm guessing there's gonna be a few more, but that's good for me. Oh, God. Okay, break. Listen, right? I haven't played this game in a while. Gave me, like, a few races or whatever, or like a few minutes to drive around, and then I'll figure it out, and I'll be able to drive a little bit better. Like I said, especially since I haven't played this game in a little bit, I need a, I need a bit of a, like a, a refresher, I guess you could say. And I'll be able to to be right back on top again. I mean, I am first, but that's just because all of them are just terrible at driving. Anyway, so. Like I said, I need to get some more money, which is what I'm doing right now. That's the only reason why I'm doing all these, like, races and things like that. Well, actually, obviously, to progress the game as well, but, like, the only reason why I was doing all the normal races, after I do this next URL race, I'm going to go do the special event, which is Cold Harbor West. And there's, I think, a couple of more races around me that I can try and do, maybe a few more drag races or something like that, or drift events or something. I don't know. Oh, Nick is in a Mustang. Ah, oh, okay. Nikki and her Mustang is about to drive the other way. <laughs> Goodbye, Nikki. Oh, someone else overtook me. Who's this? Alan? Andy? What was his name? Yeah, it was Andy. I, thought I called him Alan for... <laughs> My name on Steam is Alan. And that's what reminded me of Alan for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's see what else I could possibly do here. I mean, obviously I need to win, but like this is going to be a long few races because this is only three laps. And this is most likely going to be a three three race, like URL event, if that makes sense. It's like a little championship on, on Forza. That's pretty much what this is. But we're sort of racing on a... I was going to say a track, but it's more like... I don't know. It, it technically is just an airport. I want to do one on the actual track again. Like, you know, the Euro races that you... That spawn in the middle of the city? I like those. I, I think they're a little bit more fun. These ones, I, can, I feel like... They're still good. 
I feel like these ones are easier as well because you just sort of hit off the walls and grind off the walls and you're just, you'll still make it around the corner pretty easy, you know? So, I do kind of want to play in the city or like, you know, on the, on the actual racetrack. Oh, hello everyone. Everyone's bumping each other here. I'd rather let everybody go ahead first before I do anything. Goodbye, Mustang. Thank you for helping me turn. This is going to be one of those short ones, right? Is this the really, really short one where it literally just turns here? Oh, it is. This is like the shortest race, actually. This is the shortest URL race that you'll have. I'm pretty sure. Like that. And what are we in? 36 seconds? 38 seconds? It will be 36. With a rolling start. Jesus Christ! Mickey, what are you doing? You have to slow down for those corners. You don't have to, you know, not crash into me. Jesus. Well, Nikki now went from first to last, so that's hilarious. Yeah, this is the this is a really really short race, which is good. I really hope that the next one isn't like the, the longest one possible, just to cancel each other out. Could you imagine? Again, here you can't have the break. I don't know why Nikki wasn't breaking. I have to slow down. There you go. That's how you take that corner. Oh, look, everybody else followed me. Nikki thought she was special. Nikki thought she was me, crushing it to the cars to help her turn. All right. Um, I don't even need an awesome. I'm not even gonna bother using it. There's no point. The effort of me lifting my left finger up and then just pressing it on an os is just I cannot be bothered. I'm not even breaking at all. I'm just gonna drive across the finish line very slowly. There you go. A minute 48 for this race. I told you this is this is the shortest URL race that you can have in this game. All right. Now, please don't be the longest URL race that we can have in this game. It seems fairly similar to the other one, except where I can a little extend a bit behind me. Jesus. Okay, guys, guys, chill, 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 chill. Guys, okay, you're facing backwards. Andy, move. Oh, every someone up there is just smashing into everyone. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna drive right past you like this. And then do one of these. Thank you, Nikki. See, the reason why Nikki is important because at the end, uh, I don't know if I, I wanted to say something, but I don't think I can say it. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can say it. Okay, I, I won't say it. Yeah, she supports me at the end. All right, she, she changes her mind. Big, big spoiler on a game that came out 20 years ago. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> poor Nikki. Um, but yeah, she she supports me at the end, together with with Rachel. You know, that's that's what happens. For people that know what, you know, what I was gonna say, or what I was thinking. I mean, we just know. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything in the comments. You have to know anything. Just 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 smile and wave. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Oh my god, I keep trying to cut corners. Well, not cut them, but like go as close as possible to the wall, but I keep hitting the wall. Alright. Last little bit here. Again, really, really easy. I just. It, it was stupid of me to put the difficulty up to hard because. Yes, it was like very, very difficult, but it was at a point where I had to do races twice and the game literally was just gonna take so much longer you know and it, it was for no reason whatsoever because what you guys would have seen in the video because I would have cut all the bad you know races out and just taken them out you know I would, I would probably just show you like me completing them there's no point in me showing you the same race over and over again you get what I mean takes what part of that didn't sink in get out of my face i race straight up you better remember who you're talking to or what i don't need you 
Oh, really? What are you gonna do without me? You're nothing. It's only a matter of time before I run the whole show. And maybe I'll make sure you don't. I think he just run him over. <laughs> like, it's not that big of a deal. Just, just turn his steering wheel in the direction that he is, and then just floor it. Easy. Do you know what I mean? Easy clap, boys. Alright, let's go. Next URL all race. Up here. Let's do it. Wait, wait, where is it? Is it up at the very top? I was trying to use my right... I, this is how long this, it's been since I played this game. I was literally trying to use my right stick to, like, look around to the left and right. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's start this. Oh my god, that's a long race. Okay. This is good, because I get money for it. Okay? And it progresses the game. We have to do these. I have to. Again, tons of grip. Oh, I hate this race so much. This this track is terrible. This, I'm pretty sure, is the longest one. That's what she said. This, I'm pretty sure, is the longest track. That's, that's what I said. Can you... Okay. So you decide to crash into me and then decide to go behind this dude and then just floor it and nos behind him. That makes perfect sense. Goodbye, Evo. I am the Evo before the Evo with this 3000 GT, if you think about it. Well, actually, not really. This is this is sort of like the big boy eclipse. It was like the eclipse and then this guy was just like, it's bigger, badder brother. I love these guys. I generally do. They need more recognition. They need to be paired up together with the the classic Japanese cars that are shooting up in price, like the the Skylines and the Supers, in my opinion, and the NSXs. I think NSXs were on a level of their own, regardless. But uh, yeah, obviously now they're they're just just as expensive and just as crazy as the other Japanese cars. But I think this one deserves it as well. You probably won't find like a really really good example. Like this is probably rarer to find a good example of a 3000 GT than it is to find a, a rare like a really good example of a a Supra. I think. Because I've seen Supras, I've seen so many of them. So, so many of them. Modified, you know, close to stock. It's really hard to find a completely stock car. Um, but, yeah. This is this is definitely a car that should be up there with, with the greats. Same with the Fairlady Z, like the older, like the 300 uh, ZX, ZX, whatever. I honestly think that car should be uh, just as iconic as the rest of them. That is such a cool car with the target top. Oh my god. It's a really, really cool car. I definitely think it should be up there. I mean, if you're going to give recognition to some cars, at least give recognitions to the, the rest of the Japanese cars, not just the ones that Paul Walker drove in the Fast and the Furious movies. You know? That is literally the reason. I honestly do think that that is the reason that the Super and the Skyline just took off in price and in popularity. I'm pretty sure it is. Because, obviously, you know, Brian from the movies drove a Supra, you know, very iconic, and then drove a Skyline, which again, iconic. But technically he also drove one of these. Well, he didn't really drive one of these, he drove a Dodge Stealth, which is kind of this car, but the American uglier version of this car, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly do think that these still deserve a little bit more recognition. Except for the ones that look like this. If they look like this in real life, run away. Or you can, like, fully lowball the person. And just be like, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you like, two run for it. And then revert it all back to stock. Make sure it all runs well, and then you'll have a car that's worth a lot more money. So I'm pretty sure there's loads of places out right now. Um... Where you'll get aftermarket parts for well aftermarket like OEM plus parts pretty much so it's like they literally look OEM but they're you know made by aftermarket uh, uh, companies and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that there's loads of uh, loads of manufacturers out there that do that. That have all of those parts for these like older Japanese cars um, because of, I don't think if you go to Nissan or if you go to Toyota or, or Mitsubishi or anything like that you'll be able to find original parts. Maybe you can, actually. I don't know. I've never actually looked for parts, you know, for a car like this that I don't have. Because it doesn't really interest me, but... Um, maybe they do sell them. 
you know, maybe that is a thing. But there's definitely aftermarket dealers out there that you can get OEM style parts from. Sure, even when I had my GTI and I wanted to change my headlights, because I didn't like the like the halogen headlights things that I had, like the reflector headlights, and I want to get the, the projector ones, which look like they have, you know, the bi-xenons in it. Oh, I think I have a bug. I think there's a bug with my audio. You guys probably won't be able to hear while there's loads of racing, but... Do you hear it now? Yeah, okay, so while I'm racing, you guys shouldn't be able to hear it. So it should be fine. So I'm just gonna just keep playing it. And then I'll restart the game afterwards, I think. Just in case this sound is just constantly gonna be there, but I, I really do hope it's not. But yeah, when I had my GTI and I was buying parts for it, um, yeah, I obviously didn't go with the uh, with Volkswagen. I, I don't think I can. I could have gone to Volkswagen to buy an original part like that. Plus, I I wanted aftermarket versions of my headlights, but I still want them to look like OEM. If that makes sense, I didn't want to get like anything. Oh Jesus! I didn't want to get anything that's like um, you know that just looks ugly. For example. So that's why when I had my backlights replaced, I changed those with like the Anniversary slash R32 taillights, which were pretty much the same as the standard lights. Except the tint on the inside of the uh, the taillight, like it, instead of it being just normal, you know, bright red, it's like a darker red, if that makes sense. Uh, but there's like other like LED taillights and stuff like that that I've seen people drive around with. And I, like some of them are okay, you know, they look kind of cool. But um, yeah, I still wanted to go with like just as close to OEM as possible. Um, but yeah, the taillights were legitimate. Like they were actually like legit, you know, from Volkswagen. But my headlights weren't. But my headlights were literally identical to the ones that you get on the uh, on the higher spec cars, which is like projector style headlights. They look identical to the to the ones that you have. Um, you know, the R32 and some of the GTIs that did come with the projector headlights. But uh, the inside of the uh, not the lens itself, but the inside where the reflective part is, um, was like black instead of just like you know bright and reflective, and uh, it looks so much better. I honestly, I don't, those are probably my favorite headlights I I'd get for any. If I was to get another Mark Five GTI or whatever, those headlights I'd get 100% again. The only thing is, like because they were aftermarket and they were like a bit, yeah, um, they did come with a little bit of a gap in them at the bottom. And uh, it, it looks like they were probably like damaged in transport or something like that. So it was kind of annoying. And I was like, I, I can't be bothered to send all these back. So I just like sort of, you know, cleaned the residue off and just took the whole lens off and resealed it myself. It was a it was a pain and it was annoying because when I first put them in, I didn't realize, and um, they were like fogging up like crazy, you know. And it's, it wasn't just like you know them being brand new because usually that happens. Like if you leave cars out for a while or or whatever. Um, and you don't have them started up, and you don't have the recirculation of air inside of the headlight. This is something that some people actually don't know. That's why some brand new cars, you can see literally brand new cars that have just come out of like the dealership or something. And you see them out on the road. Sometimes if it's like cold outside, um, the uh, it's got really bad recirculation of air inside of the lens of the headlight. Which means that... Uh, you know, the, the hot air that's inside of the headlight just sort of stays there and it, you know, it combines with the cold air from the outside and, you know, it fogs up. It's condensation. But the thing is, what it should happen is you should have a little opening on the inside of the headlight um, to the back of the, you know, but towards the engine pretty much, where you won't have that. You know, the, the air recirculates, it comes out, you know, the lens stays at a normal temperature and the inside of the headlight stays at a normal temperature and you shouldn't have any sort of condensation. Or anything like that, but if you leave a car out for a while, um, or if you don't start the car up for a while, it'll do that. It, it, it will end up doing that uh, on on some models. And you know, obviously, since my headlights were completely brand new, they've never gone under that sort of you know hot air, cold air sort of uh, mixture ever. And then they were getting really, really fogged up for me. But like for me, I had like a massive gap underneath the headlight, which wasn't just. Uh, it wasn't just like a little opening behind the headlight where the the thing would come out, you know, the condensating, like pretty much the warm and the warm air would release and come out. Um, so I was, 
I was getting literally water inside of the headlight, you know, and it was just really, really annoying. So I took, you know, cleaned the lenses off, took them off and everything. And I just resealed it myself and then just had the little openings at the back of the, the headlight. I even made slightly more openings in the little rubber grommet that, like, sort of covers the back of the bulb, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, where you take the grommet off to, like, replace the bulb and that. This has been a very weird video of me explaining mods I've done to my GTI. What else have I done to it? Oh, yeah, I also... I see a lot of people that have done, you know, the R32, like, rear bumper swap. I think that's that's horrible. It's so stupid. Especially when you see them driving around and you know it's not an R32. Like, I hate putting parts on my car that, you know, that don't necessarily go there. If that makes sense, right? Like, I changed my taillights to be, you know, GTI slash R32 taillights. But my car actually does come with those type of taillights, you know? My GTI wouldn't come with that type of rear bumper. So what I ended up doing is I bought, like, a rear bumper that looks like the R32 bumper, if that makes sense, like, the whole outline bit, bit of it, but, like, the diffuser part, like, the bottom part, still has the twin pipes on the one side, you know? You'll see it. I have pictures on my Instagram or something like that. You, you can see pretty much what it looks like. Um, but it's, like, an R32 style with reflectors and everything. It sticks out a little bit more. It's a little, like, deeper. It just, just looks so much better than the standard ugly bumper that I had on before, which was just, like, really crappy plastic, to be honest with you. And, uh, plus, mine was, like, really, really discolored. It had, like, a little scratch on it and everything. I just, like, threw it away. It was just annoying. So, uh, I ended up just getting a, a an R32 style rear bumper, but the, uh, the, the bottom part of it, where the exhaust, instead of them being in the middle, like the R32, they were just the same as my GTI. You know, they were just, like, to the side. And then I had my, my Miltec exhaust, my catback there and it fit them perfectly i love the way my car looked i honestly think my i had like one of the cleanest if not the cleanest gti uh in ireland 100 percent. and i'm not being cocky or anything like that but like i had like my car was like i literally all, all i had were on my car was like door dings pretty much on on like the side if i kept the car for longer i probably would have gotten rid of those as well and it would have looked literally like factory new no swirl marks no big stains or anything like that. I even had my, my seat upholstery done as well on my car. Man, the guy that bought my car came and looked at it and I've had people before come and look at the car when I was selling it and uh, they were like, this is this is the nicest GTI i have seen. Uh, but what they couldn't like is, oh, uh, uh, it was like, it was bullshit like excuses as well. It's like, ah, oh, the mileage, uh, you know, I wish it was lower mileage for GTI. I wish it was this and that. I'm like, yeah, okay, man, listen, if you, if you want to pay the money, pay the money for it. If you don't want, you don't want it, you know? I can't be bothered with that. Like, I hate selling cars privately now. I, I absolutely despise it. Um, it's honestly the, the biggest, biggest piece of BS ever. And I don't think I'm going to be selling my car privately. I would rather lose a couple of grand, you know, trading my car in at a dealer, than me selling my car privately. If it doesn't, if I, because people aren't serious about it. Like, they just come to see the car and they start making excuses or they start, you know, talking about stuff that, you know, Oh, uh, yeah, you should lower the price because of this. I, you know, I'm gonna offer you this and it's always like stupid stupid offer. I Hate that so much I hate like selling cars privately It's such a waste of my time But yeah, everybody that came to see the GTI they, they all were like yeah, this it drives great which it did it drove literally perfect There was nothing wrong with it. I had a little check engine light thing that came on which was I can't remember what it was. It was just so, it was some sort of like little plastic valve or whatever it was. I, I I don't know. I honestly cannot remember. But it was something like that. And then I just went and got that fixed, and the you know, check engine light was gone. That was literally the only problem that I had with that car. I I I never had anything else go wrong with it. Obviously, it was a check engine light. You know, it was a VW. But I, jokes aside, it, it treated me really well. The car was sick. It did a really, really good job to uh, to be like a good, good car. Oh, I'm just looking at the map and I just see circuit races. And I'm like, I just don't want to do them. <laughs> you know, I just cannot be bothered. I cannot be bothered to do. Them. I have 42 grand. Listen, should I just build my navigator now? Yes, yes, I will. Let's build a navigator. Car select. There it is. So again, uh. You know, performance-wise, it's it's built, but uh, 
but it's not very good when it comes to uh, the way it looks. It's still very, very stuck. So I, th I keep pressing select by accident. Um, let's go down all the way to the body shop that is her. And let's start adding body kits and things to this. It needs them. It needs them. We need to get this thing to be much, much better. Looking at it. Anyway. I have to build a navigator. I have 42k. 42k is definitely enough. I, I think the, the performance mods are the ones that, you know, take up. I'm just going to go straight. Why would I turn left for no reason? Um. <laughs> oh my god. I can just imagine the, the things that we're going to be able to do to this guy. Well, this house that I'm driving right now. Okay. Careful now. Just because I I put performance mods on it doesn't mean that it's a good it's a good thing to drive. It's still absolutely horrible to drive. It's super super slow. Oh god, fucking threw that shit out. Jesus. All right, body shop. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Front bumpers. We have wide body kits. We don't have wide body kits. We do not have wide body kits. Does that mean that I have to do more races with this? What if I do outrun races with this? Will I be able to unlock wide body kits for this? I'm fine with spending money on it. It, it doesn't. Oh, Jesus Christ. Again, I completely forgot about the body kits that we have available for this. The Xylon. Is probably what I'm gonna go with. The Wolfpack actually... I was gonna say it doesn't look that bad. It, it does look bad. They all look bad. Listen, I'm gonna go with the Wolfpack. If we're gonna make this thing look bad, let's make it look bad in style. Do you know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If it looks bad, it looks bad. <laughs> Side scares. The Wolfpack ones are sort of more subtle than anything else. So I'm gonna probably go with those. Oh god, we can put a wing on it. Oh my god. Okay, well that's at 1.9. If I go with carbon fiber uh, spoilers. Okay, that brings our, our visual rating higher. Plus it's carbon fiber, so it's going to be much, much lighter. Alright. Alright. I want to pick one of the wings that gives me... Oh my sweet Jesus. Okay, I'm putting this one on. <laughs> this is like a mix of good and bad when it comes to this. Like, some of them look kind of okay, but then some of them just look, are just taken off just to the extreme, you know what I mean? Carbon fiber bonnet, carbon fiber spotter is done, carbon fiber roof scoop. Uh, let's go with the twin. Twin scoopage at the top. Uh, we'll go with these ones, because they look ugly. <laughs> mirrors again, carbon fiber mirrors. Sure. Yes. What does that look like? Carbon fiber body kits. Oh my god. Well, our rating is now at 6.5. Let's turn this thing around. That's <laughs> so much carbon fiber everywhere. For God's sake. Look at that body kit. Okay. Sp oh, we have to put spinners on it. We have to put spinners on it. As for our exhaust, we need a, a massive pipe at the back. Very good. Uh... Highlights and taillights, right? That's the next best thing that we need to change here. The Alan ones look so, like, OEM. I actually always like the Alan ones. They just looked kind of alright. I'm just going to go with those, actually. What is this? It's just, like, all LEDs on this one, it looks like. Eh? I'm kind of tempted to just make it so it's all LEDs. Yeah, let's do that. Taillights... Sure, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping mirrors out. Yep. Or not mirrors. What am I talking about? I'm keep, keeping the rims off. Uh, and then I'm going to go... My god. Look at this thing. Jeez. Fast. I'll tell you that. It's very fast. I'm going to the car special. Oh, okay. I'm going to the car specialties shop here. Way I whipped it. Oh, jeez. 
customize your ride with style and turn some heads when you race by upgrading your car's looks and audio right here. Okay. I don't know if I want pulsing uh, neon, so I'm going to keep it with just the standard standard neon. I will, however, put something... St oh, magenta. Perfect. Engine neon. Wait, do I not have level 3 engine? Oh, I, may, I maybe don't have turbo, actually. Uh, I'm going to go magenta for the cabin as well. Uh, I'm going to put it everywhere. Uh, eat the, oh, yo, yo, okay, 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 okay. I need to upgrade my trunk first. Uh, window tint, lights. I'll go with... I'll go with bright red uh, headlights, because that looks cool. He says. Um... Oh my god. How many slots do I have? I have 12 slots! Okay, I'm putting speakers in every single one of them. And I'm putting big speakers in every single one of them. As, as big as possible. Should I just go with the... Oh, I just look, look the dumbest. The MTX ones. Let's put MTX speakers in every single one of these. Did I go past it? I think I went past it. MTX. MTX. 12 inch MTX. 15 inch. MTX again. Oh my god. I keep going past it. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I can't even see that one. 12 inch, of course. And there we go. Okay. <laughs> Trunk neon. Should I just paint it gold? Nah, magenta. It has to be magenta. Jesus Christ. What, what is that? Spinners, boys. We're on the spinners. Right, let's have a look here. I need something stupid, but also something that, you know, represents me as a person. Um, oh my god, since we had the... <laughs> I was gonna say, since the trailer for the new Spider-Man movie came out, I think we're gonna celebrate that by putting these <laughs> spinners on there. <laughs> yeah. There we go, 24s. Split hoods. I'm not going to do that. Split doors, though. I mean... Jeez. We want to make it like a Rolls Royce or a Lamborghini? You know what? Let's make it like a Rolls Royce. Because this is practically one. <sighs> my head is literally in my hands right now. Just looking at this thing. What have I built? Wait, I need to go this way. I'm going to the performance shop because there has to be something. I, I definitely didn't buy everything. Turbo, maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> I just looked at this thing. Yeah, there's definitely things that I haven't bought for this to make it faster. So I'm going to go into the performance shop just, just to see. Yes, I would like to enter the shop. Yeah, I've done... Rachel, you're literally saying the same thing that you said every single time I came in here with a different car. Okay, brakes. I'm literally gonna run out of money again. Break the barriers of top speed by slimming your ride with a weight reduction kit. I haven't bought the turbo, have I? I need 12k. I need 12,000 to make this thing even faster. How have I run out of money already? Can you see how much money it actually takes to modify this stupid thing? That is crazy. Right. Uh, should I do it? Oh, there's a little secret street cross race here that I haven't done yet. <laughs> should I just do it in this thing? You know what? Let's do it. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. 4K for it. Okay. Let's just... Let's try it in the navigator and see how that works out for me. We're doing it against normal cars. Oh, I'm gonna get absolutely demolished here. Except I am in a, pretty much in a tank, so... Oh my god. Guys, please stop pushing me. I can't even turn. 
Actually, that's a lie. Wait, have I made this drive a lot better just by changing my brakes on it? What do I do? I changed the brakes and weight reduction, wasn't it? Wait, this actually drives so much better than before. It's still slow. But the little shot of acceleration is just... It's definitely better than before. And it turns so much tighter than before. Okay. Maybe all the aero has helped me. Is that is that what it is? It has to be. You know, all the... All the... <laughs> all the downforce. <laughs> what is this stupid thing? It's still spinners, man. I'm clinging onto these corners like Spider-Man's clinging onto the buildings with the webs. What? What am I saying? What am I saying? I, I don't know what's happening here, but somehow I'm winning this race. And that is absolutely brilliant news to me, because that just means I don't have to do it again. There's actually a lot of races that I haven't done. If I go into my garage and I just look at the world map, and you see pretty much all the races that you haven't done, all the secret ones and stuff like that, so there's still a lot of races that I haven't, you know, uh, even tried to do. And there's probably some of them that are... This is just perfect. How, how, how... This is, this is brilliant. It's just giving me more and more things to do here. Um, let's go to the special event. Big guns from Auto Motor are in the crowd. Let's see if you can catch their attention. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna bring this over to him. And I'm definitely gonna catch their attention. Sure, look at this thing. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, I still need paint. Paint, 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 paint. I actually do want to change my paint on this thing. I don't want to keep it in this gray color. It looks boring. I, can't, I, I didn't forget about paint. I just, I wanted to do everything else. Pretty less some paint, boys. It's got to happen. And I'm thinking something, something like this. I mean, it's looking kind of nice, you know what I'm saying? On this color. Obviously, everything else I can't paint. Rims, I can paint. Ooh, wait, what if I do that? So what if I paint the wheels black? And then paint the spinners a different color. Oh, this is brilliant. What's the color that matches the rest of us? Nah. It's too dark. And that one is too bright. I'm looking at something that matches the, uh... Yeah, this one, maybe. Let's do that. Brakes. Can't even see them, but I'm gonna paint them red. Engine accents. Haven't finished that yet. Muffler tip. We can change the color of that. Just gonna make it chrome. Vinyls, decals. Don't need that. This is caramel fiber. Absolutely beautiful machine now. I mean, we have to look the part, you know what I mean? When, um... <laughs> I keep pressing select to go open a mini map. Um, uh, we have to look the part, you know, when I'm trying to, um... To impress these sponsors. Or these magazines and things. Is it a race, or is it just a... Come here and here's a picture of it. Please be just a picture. Ooh, money! Nice. Okay, it, it, it is actually a race. 115. At least I don't have to go far. But I don't know how well I'm going to do in this, though. Come on. We are at level 10 now. So we should get decent money. I mean, like, rep-wise on this thing. Look at that Hummer. It's so ugly. <laughs> okay. See what I mean about cornering? It's, it's actually not terrible. I don't know why I'm following the GPS. Because it's just bringing me, like, some random roads. But this is going to be easy. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's just get off to the right, then turn right again, and then we should be there, right? Wait, I have 12 seconds. Am I actually going to do this? 
Nope. It's not happening. This thing is so slow, I can't even do that. Yeah, let, let me try again. Let me try this again, and whenever I have a chance to use NOS and take less corners, I'm going to do that. Instead of actually trusting the GPS, because it's annoying me. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, nice. 22 seconds. I can't tell if this is better or not. But before, I was way off. Go quicker, please. I am so far off. It's not even happening. <laughs> this thing's way too slow. See what I mean? By it being terrible. Oh my god, guys, I made it. I'm here, guys. Look, I, I, I've arrived. I've made it. I'm gonna stop. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. I'll be back and I'll be fixing this thing so we can make it a little faster than what it is now. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do that. Turbo whistle sounds so weird in this thing. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.